hello friends welcome to this new tutorial today i have here this uh, iphone uh, 6s plus and the problem on it is the battery so in this video i will show you how to replace the battery this screw falls, all, falls from here all right so to replace the battery we will need some tools we will need philips uh, paint alum screwdriver a phillips screwdriver a nice semi a double sticky adhesive and tweezers then we will need the new battery i have this battery here all right so uh, to do this job it will be very easy you just need to uh, to do it without any mistakes all right so let's start first we need to open the two screws here in this in the bottom next to the charging port with the pentalo screwdriver so when we open the screws we're gonna put them here and make sure we keep uh, the screws organized then we're gonna use the IC semi we're gonna insert it here between the frame and the glass and we will wiggle like this gently gently until we release the screen gently don't use the force because you may break the glass here and if it's very hard for you you just can you just can slide this around the edge then you release it as you see so once this is released, we're gonna hold it with our finger, with our with our thumbs. Then we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna wiggle gently. Make sure don't go deep inside. You may damage the home button, the home button cable. All right. So once you do like this, it's gonna be open. So once it opens, this one we need to turn it off first. I'm gonna turn it off right now. Okay, it's off. So now I'm gonna like flip the screen little by little, little by little, and they make sure it's not uh, more than 90 degree angle here. Because if you push it all the way back, you may cut the cables here. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it like you see. Now what I'm gonna do, I have here, I have here this bracket. Underneath there is the connection of the uh, of the battery. So I'm gonna remove these two screws with the Phillips screwdriver, and I'm gonna put them here. okay so now i'm gonna remove this bracket with my nail then i will put it next to its screws these two screws have uh, have uh, one small and one longer little bit so now what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my nail to disconnect the battery all right so the battery is disconnected so now what i'm gonna do i will pull the screen a little bit then i will lift it up and they will open the screws that are holding the, the screen here one two three four five so keep these screws all uh, all organized because they are different and uh, you don't uh, if you put the wrong screw in the wrong spot you may damage the motherboard okay so now we have as you see the, the screws so I'm just going to remove this little bracket. They will push it next to its screws. Then I will disconnect the cables from here. Just using my nail. Gently, don't use the force. Alright, so this cable here is for the home button, uh, for the power button. I disconnect it by mistake. We have only three cables. Alright, so I'm going to put the screen aside. So now what I'm going to do, I will remove the battery from here. The battery has adhesive under it so you can remove the adhesive by just like using something like this usually they have like two two of this adhesive let me take this cord all right guys so usually this uh, battery is supposed to have two uh, strips of adhesive underneath but i think this battery is replaced before so we're gonna pull this gently in case if it stacks you're gonna just pull it like this until you release it make sure don't pull it hard because you may cut the cable you may cut this adhesive and it will stuck underneath then you will go uh, to the hard solution all right as you say remove all the adhesive this is just uh, i'm just going to tell you something uh, in case this uh, adhesive got cut underneath you can use this uh, something sharp something like this and you're going to insert it from here and lift up the battery gently make sure don't poke the battery or damage it even if you see like the battery is bending a little bit don't worry just make sure don't poke it and like this then you lift it up then you can go underneath and grab the piece of adhesive which is uh, stuck inside then wrap it around these uh, tweezers and pull it out all right so as you see now the the battery is released 
we're gonna put the new battery but before we put the new battery we're gonna put a strip of adhesive inside to stop it from uh, moving you know because if you don't put this adhesive it's gonna keep uh, the battery gonna keep moving inside okay so let me cut this strip so now we're gonna put this one here in the middle and this is the new battery I'm just gonna connect its cable first then I will make sure I, I will make sure I let it sit down all right so now it's connected so now I'm gonna disconnect the battery again I just disconnect it to place it uh, exactly matching with the connector here so now I'm disconnecting it to finish the work so now what I'm gonna do I will use this I will take these uh, cables here and reconnect them here so this is the first one Make sure the cables are matching 100% with its connection. Try to use a little bit of force to snap them. If you feel like they are not snapping, try to adjust them very well. Then you click on them. If you if they are not matching and you click on them hard, you may uh, damage the you may damage the the FPC, the connection on the motherboard. Then you're not going to be able to use it at all. Because this is, uh, it's, uh, I can tell it's unfixable. Most of the repair guys, they don't fix it. So make sure when you connect, when you connect the cables, make sure they are 100% matching with its connection in the bottom. You may damage the LCD cable, but that's replaceable. But if you damage the one on the motherboard, that's irreplaceable. It requires some uh, very, uh, very like, uh, what they call it, micro soldering high scale on micro soldering if you want to do it always make sure don't uh, don't bend uh, don't flip the screen back too much All right, so I put this bracket, then I, con I connect the, ba the battery cable, and I put this bracket, and I put the two screws. So now what I'm going to do, I will just close the screen, make sure I put the top part first. Then I let the screen sit flat in its chases. So now what I'm going to do, I will put these two screws, and then our job is done successfully. By the way, if you want to fix your phone, and you don't know how to do it, you can ship it to us. We will take care of it check uh, at the end of this uh, picture of the end of this video you will see the the address where you can ship the device but before you can get in touch with us and make sure that uh, we are in the same page because sometimes you may ship something that it's not uh, fixable or it's not the correct thing all right so i hope that you uh, learned something from me if you do please hit the thumbs up and uh, share this video with friends with friends and uh, see you in the next video peace